Welcome to Painting with Steve. Today we'll be putting the last colors on our cowboys as we can get close to finishing our series on the cowboys. So let's get painting. We will be finishing the very last colors of our miniatures today. So basically we're looking at the small uh, details and stuff that we haven't quite got done yet. Like right now I'm doing belt buckles on the miniatures. And then we'll go back and we'll finish off like shoes or say there's one hat that needs to be done, etc. Uh, I always do like getting near the very end here because that's when we can really feel like you're getting close to the finishing your miniature. Um, and then really your miniature has come to life. Uh, as you'll see, I set one miniature aside here because I noticed there was a little error on him. And I'll go back and fix that paint error on him after I get done putting this color on. So let's continue to paint. This last weekend was one of the coldest weekends I've ever experienced here in Maine, and I've been here for well over 50 years. Uh, between Friday and Saturday night, we hit uh, a low of minus 27, and the, um, the wind chill got down as low as minus 60 degrees. I was real happy, my furnace was working real well, um, and of course we had to keep an eye out to make sure everything was fine on campus for our students. Um, hopefully that's a once in a lifetime experience because I like cold weather, but not that cold. back out on my porch today and fresh back from the Lucky 13 snow con up at Orono. Um, again, painting at the time that I like to paint the most during the day. Uh, I get, I like, I very much prefer to paint in natural light versus at night. I can do at night, but I think my, the, the uh, miniatures show up more true in natural light versus artificial light. Not that it's saying I don't have artificial light around me, but that definitely, uh, I like the idea of having natural light. And, looks like I'm changing my mind on a different color. Sometimes when you pick up a thing, you say, whoops, this other color needs to be touched up too. Uh, in fact, you can see I'm kind of doing dual brushes right here. Because as I see something, I'm going to grab the, the other paintbrush and take care of it. Biggest thing though, just make sure you don't confuse which paintbrush you're grabbing. It's also you probably have noticed that I always have the active paint that I'm using right at 9 o'clock because uh, I find if I don't do that I might dip into the wrong color and all of a sudden slap the wrong color under the miniature and that, well that makes quite a mess. So it's good to have some good uh, rituals or a system so that you can avoid some errors because as you're painting, of course, your mind and stuff are going to be kind of thinking about other things, so uh, it's good to have a good system. Anyway, let's continue to paint and get some details on these cowboys. liking how these uh, cowboy miniatures are coming out. I am still a little worried that they might be a little too big for the game I bought them for. Uh, but I do like the fact that they're metal. they got a good heft to them. And uh, well, I think we'll definitely give them a try if they are too big compared to the other miniatures. Well, I'm sure I can find some use for them somewhere. Or at very least, we just put them in a display case. But anyway, I'm pretty sure I can find something. As I continue to go look at different details, you see 
a lot of these miniatures I'm just picking them up looking see yep that's, that's color needs to be touched up nope go on to the next one and I'll keep on doing that till I'm pretty satisfied with all of the miniatures This new style of painting by using the speed paints definitely makes things go a little quicker. You just gotta be careful you don't go over the lines or the area you want to paint. But uh, they are very effective and it's just looking pretty nice. And there we go. Switching over to my other palette of paints, because uh, usually when I'm painting this many miniatures, I, I tend to need more colors than a room on one palette, so I have to go switch to another uh, palette. And uh, so I think I actually own about four of these, I just keep them clean and such. And uh, basically, when you get into the very end with your miniatures at this point, you just very quickly going from color to color uh, looking to make sure that that color is fully uh, covered. Uh, one thing I've noticed with the speed paints if you're not careful and get every area, area you get little specks of like white to show and well you won't notice it when you're painting it but then when it dries it really stands out very clearly so you want to make sure that you get all those whites. Also, when you're putting some new paint on top of the old paint, you want to make sure you blend the two together quite well so you don't create a splotchy look as well. Uh, this is especially true for some of the darker colors like this blue, for example, because you want to make sure that you suddenly don't have like a dark and then suddenly light immediately. You want to have it uh, blended well together. touching up a lot of the shoes. One thing's good about doing shoes, you don't have to be as neat as other things because our next stage is we're going to be covering the bases of these miniature with uh, a black acrylic paint to get a good even base for when we go to our flocking stage. So you don't have to be quite as neat with shoes if you get outside the lines, no big deal. Black covers just about anything. up the last few colors in a couple weeks uh, I'm excited I'll be going to Total Con uh, which is another big convention in, uh, down in uh, Marlboro Massachusetts largest one in New England and I'm looking forward to maybe pick up some new games or maybe some new miniatures in them as well stay tuned of our details done on our miniatures so let's take a closer look and see how they're looking as you can see they pretty much are all done now at this point uh, all the details are covered up you've got a cowboy with a white hat and they're looking good so our next step is we'll move on to right now we basically now need to cover the bases of our miniature with that black paint to get them ready for flocking which we'll be covering next week. And basically, 
very simple technique. Just get some black uh, acrylic paint. Uh, I use, I think it's called like a lampshade black or something like that, a dark ebony color. And basically you cover all around your miniature like so. And uh, very being very careful around your shoes. You don't want to cover your shoes, obviously, of your miniature. And then also uh, make sure you paint around the edge of the uh, miniature as well. So let's get these uh, miniatures based up in black and I will come back and see how they look. To admit, I really enjoy this stage of uh, painting the miniatures because before you cover up the base, of course, around the shoes is a little messy with the paint and the miniature doesn't quite look finished. But once you put you cover up the base with a nice black like this, your miniature looks pretty much done. In fact, if you, you could decide not to flock your miniatures and just leave them be, and that would be fine as well. Uh, I prefer to flock them to give them a little more natural look on the tabletop but uh, that's up to you one thing nice about uh, miniature painting you do what you like um, I also notice by painting it a black base it does give make the miniatures quite dark then you'll see once we put the flocking on they actually lighten back up again so let's continue on we got about uh, four or five more miniatures to base up
here's our last miniature for basing. So let's take a look and see how our miniatures are looking. Yeah, those are looking really good. Uh, I'm really happy the way they've come out. Uh, but that's going to be all for now. Next week we'll put some flocking on them. But as for now, happy painting.